you end up fondling a lampshade last year at the holiday party? Here's how to have a normal night out with your peers without being professionally destructive. What's up guys, this is Richard from A Man About Style and today we are talking office party etiquette. Let's get into it. Rule number one, we all know to eat, drink, and be merry in moderation when it comes to holiday parties. But yet every year someone has, I can't believe I just said that moment. So remember, drink in moderation because you don't want your coworkers and peers to think unfavorably of you. The same rule applies to alcohol and cannabis. No matter what your substance of choice is, don't let it coerce you into doing something that you wouldn't be proud of later. Tip two, food. Enjoy the food, but don't be a glutton. The size of the hors d'oeuvre plate will give you an indication of how much food to take. And never ever double dip. But remember, the whole reason for this whole soiree is human to human interaction. So try to keep your right hand free. If you're wearing a name tag, place it on the right hand side so that way when someone approaches you, they can read it easily. And when you shake your hand, you're not obstructing your nameplate and they can read it from left to right, just appropriately. <laughs> Although the company holiday party is a fun time to socialize with your colleagues, don't forsake professionalism. Business attire is still required. For your smaller company gatherings, a fair isle sweater and some chinos may be all you need. For larger company functions and fundraisers, consult the dress code since you may need a suit or a tux. Whatever you do, don't be this guy. Now, let's talk gifts. It wouldn't be the holidays if we didn't go over some gift giving etiquette. Remember, this is an office party, not a gathering of your frat brothers. So keep the gifts within the price range and make sure that they are not risque or too personal. Tip five, introduce yourself. This is a great time to introduce yourself to your higher ups and superiors and also just meet people from other departments. When talking to superiors, make sure to Walk up to them, introduce yourself if they don't already know you by name. Try to keep the conversation brief as to not monopolize their time as they want to speak with other staff as well. But most definitely don't use this time to complain about your job, your company, or your colleagues. Tip six, let's talk photos. In an age where we all have cameras in our pocket, Avoid just snapping photos of your coworkers without their permission. It's fine to take pictures with your pals, but make sure that you have their consent. Avoid any embarrassing poses that will embarrass them later, and definitely let them know if you plan on posting any pictures on social media to protect their privacy. Lastly, know when to arrive and know when to leave. Generally speaking, when it comes to parties, don't be the first one to arrive or the last one to leave. So to avoid this, aim to arrive about 15 minutes after the start time, unless it is indicated that it's a sit down dinner and there's a specific time to be seated and served. In this case, come on time. Lastly, if you see the party winding down, don't be the last one to leave. Some good indications are the host cleaning up or other people grabbing their coats. With that, happy holidays. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can defeat the YouTube algorithm. Till next time, be well.